The spring container provides two life cycle methods for every object that it creates. And we can implement these life cycle methods in our classes. And the spring container will invoke them, the init method, just after the object creation. And the destroy method just before the object is cleaned up or destroyed. There are three different ways in which we can configure and use these methods using XML configuration wherein on the bean element, when we define a bean using the bean element, we use the init method attribute and specify which method in our class needs to be the init method. Similarly, destroy hyphen method attribute can be used on the bean element to specify a cleanup method. So usually we put all the initialization could be database connections, could be connecting to a web service, all that will go into the init method and destroy method will have the cleanup code. We'll be closing the connections, cleaning up the files, etc. So using XML configuration, we can use init hyphen method and destroy hyphen method. The method names can be anything. They need not be init and destroy. Second method is to use annotations. We can use the at post construct and pre destroy we use these annotations on our classes init and destroy methods. Again, the names need not be the same. The last and final way is to use the spring interfaces, namely initializing bean and disposable bean. Our class will implement these interfaces and override the methods in those interfaces. And those methods will become our init and destroy. You have also learned that when we use annotations, by default in Spring annotation support is disabled. To enable it, we use context colon annotation config. You first configure the context namespace in your XML configuration and use this one single line which will enable the annotations.